welcome to our No Homework Book Club. And here is what I am reading and watching and listening to this week. Starting out with a book that I checked out on my Libby app. I wanted to read this for a long time and finally my name came to the top of the wait list. And that is My Name is Barbara and it's the autobiography of Barbara Streisand. It's really, really interesting. Um, I don't think she had a ghostwriter because you can kind of tell maybe from some of the cadence of, of the writing that I do think she wrote it herself. It's very interesting. I'm still at the, at the beginning of it where she's just getting started in her career, where she, um, uh, she lived close to Dustin Hoffman, where anyhow, it was just, it's just fun because you recognize names way back when before they became rich and famous. So it's very, very entertaining and it really is a lesson in stamina and um, strength of character. So I'm enjoying that. Um, here is a movie that I watched the other day while I was going through a bunch of paperwork to entertain myself and it is Queen Pins. And it is just about some two women who have a business. It's based on a real story and they're coupon magnets. And it's very funny. It's very entertaining. Um, the casting was brilliant and I think you'll really enjoy it. It's just lighthearted and it's very, very fun. Um, so that's what I would recommend on that. What I am listening to. So for the past week, this always reminds me of Southern Living Magazine because I was doing uh, I was doing a shoot with them on an autumnal flower arrangement based on oak leaf hydrangeas, and we we did a whole uh, whole shoot back with my friend Jean, who at that time was the garden editor and the photographer Ralph Anderson. Anyhow, it was so much fun, and they come they came over that night for dinner, and we just had we were just friends, and we all had a great time after the shoot. But all day long and that night, I was listening to the sound soundtrack of Phantom of the Opera, which I just adore. And so now I like listening to that because I love the score. I, you know, just love the storyline. And I love the fact that it always reminds me of, of some friends in a really fun evening. So if you, and I just told Alexa, I said, play, um, play Phantom of the Opera. And then she tried to sell me Amazon for $9.99 a month. You can hear her right now. <laughs> yeah, trying to, yeah, trying to sell it to me. She played. And she, yeah, she, she started played playing. Play, yeah. yeah. And so at any rate, yeah. <laughs> Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa, turn off. So so at what? any rate, um, if you if you want to tell Alexa. <laughs> But you don't want her to give you the whole spiel on buying Amazon and for $9.99 a month or whatever. Then she'll just continue playing most of the songs from that soundtrack, but also some other great Broadway musical scores from Les Mis, from Rent, from what was the one that was coming on? Um, I always want to call it shampoo, hairspray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hairspray. Anyhow, it's really, really great fun music to listen to and you know it might inspire you to kind of start dancing and doing getting some exercise at home anyhow that's what I'm that's what I am listening to so if I've forgotten anything I think that is my um, my no homework book club but I have a couple of things that I did want to tell you about completely unrelated to book clubs and that is number one you guys know that a couple of weeks ago I potted up a bunch of really beautiful forced hyacinths they have been fragrant for a good long time but now they are starting to get old and tired and the foliage is starting to yellow now unlike paper whites or forced tulips or other forced bulbs Hyacinths you can put out in the garden after they have been forced to bloom inside. So save these bulbs. I will have a number of them. At the old house, I had a whole area called um, the Minor Bulb Garden, and that's where I planted all of them. So I'm going to be saving these bulbs. I will reuse the mulch that's on top, and I'll be planting those out probably along um, Lemon Lane in there. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. 
Also, I, I so appreciated all of the comments that you guys made on the orchid arrangement that I did last week uh, that I mulched in those Granny Smith apples. And you rightly pointed out that indeed, apples do put out an ethylene gas that can decrease the life of a bloom. So you, in the refrigerator, you don't want to have them near things that you may be forcing or whatever. And indeed, it kind of might, but I don't think this is one of those gardening risks worth taking. I am very much um, willing to assume the risk that it might in some very marginal way decrease the bloom of the orchids, but this isn't in an enclosed area. I don't think that gas is going to be targeted towards those blooms. I think it will kind of diffuse around the area. And even if it does, I, I I am willing to sacrifice that to really enjoy the the um, the beautiful arrangement, the beautiful composition of that blue and green. But thank you because that is true, and it's why I love it when you guys comment. I should have I was negligent, and I should have mentioned that. Um, but yeah, those are things you you kind of want to want to watch for. Um, and I think those were the two things that I wanted to remind you guys about. Okay, this is such a fun project, and I do love me some Leah. However, <laughs> Leah, you have one character flaw. What? She puts. I know what it is. She puts earworms. Yeah. In our heads all of the time. Not earworms. What Pacific is it called? Earworm. No, there's a lot. <laughs> I just always have music in my head, and, and it so, comes out and, of me. And then it becomes. But I mean, she has been on a Jurassic That's Park it. kick <laughs> for I don't know how long, I and today it was something else. And so once you get that Mickey in Martin. there, it's just like, oh yeah. Once you get it in but there, I it's just. But I keep us dancing, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yes. Yes, she, yes. Keeps, she keeps us moving and shaking. Okay, move in and shake along with us and do this really fun Valentine project. You'll have time to do it. So this was inspired by an age-old tear sheet. Not that I couldn't probably have come up with this by myself, but this reminded me what a fun project this would be. This is an old Martha Stewart magazine. And I think what captured my attention is I just love that sh those shades of that blue. Your <laughs> yes, yes, it was that shade of blue. So what I love about this is this is such an inexpensive mm -hmm. project where you can use what you have or you can go to a thrift store. And in along the spirit of using what I have, I just went and shopped my basement for a bunch of disparate different baskets that I thought would would be so fun for Leah and I to paint for Valentine's Day. Now, we're not going to do this today. <laughs> Why? Because it is 14 degrees outside and this is the kind of project that is best done outside. Yep. But we thought it would be fun if we gave you a heads up, you could do it along with us. But we also have some tips on how you might want to really bring all of this to fruition. So in addition to, so I'll start out with, with my baskets that we're gonna oh, paint. Yeah. Okay, so these are just these are just some that I had down in my basement that I've had for you know for forever. These I got at a thrift store and they I don't know what they were, but they kind of look like little maybe collection baskets mm -hmm. for, oh, for felt, church or something. Yeah, there's felt at the bottom of them. But what I love about it is that one of these six inch saucers fits in it perfectly mm -hmm. and I thought how fun to do all of these the same color have them lined up maybe with a pink coral geranium in yeah. them or something um, and we can paint them in my signature or my signature for Valentine's Day, blue Valentine in different different shades. So I got these at a thrift store. This came packaged with some cherries at a farmer's market. And this, I thought this would be really cute. Oh, wow. This is actually a sample that they sent me when I was trying to come up with an English truck for my QVC line. And sadly, it was in the middle of COVID, supplies were an issue. But this is one of the samples that I, I really haven't used used it, it obviously wasn't the quality that I wanted but I thought it would look charming 
paint it like paint it with blue and then you could fill it with different blue candy, yarns and stuff yeah. so yeah just candy baked goods oh a little valentine picnic yes, that you could take yeah. your sweetheart how cute would that be okay so <laughs> i i so that's where my idea stopped and i said okay leah given blue spiration take it from there so yeah i went to lowe's this morning and picked up some paint and we're not sure yet if a latex paint on paint will work better or a spray paint so I got both and we'll have to let you guys know which one works better or let us know if you do this project first um, but one tip that I told Linda this morning that I love to do is to shop there is always a shelf at Lowe's with mist tinted paint so these are the reject paints that someone didn't want um, maybe it wasn't the color they wanted or something like that and so they are so cheap and look at that way look at those paint. hues yeah the, it's always this one was a dollar 25 and this whole jar thing was, was 250. 250 yeah mm -hmm. so a good way and then this kind of set our color tone of what other shades of blue i got to go with it now yeah. all of these were in exactly the same color but i thought it would be fun if we, we maybe used all of these iterations of this kind of dusty blue yep. and it's we'd an get ombre. get an ombre going and then um, we're also thinking about having maybe a little valentine cocktail party so in addition to making these as valentine gifts they could also be part of my centerpiece or yep. whatever my decor for blue valentine if we have a cocktail party and i could fill them up with different things and then i could gift them to the attendees after after we're finished so i thought it would be a really really fun project now in addition to these mist tints i keep wanting to say misfit like misfit toys okay first of all what a score that you got these great colors because these are great yeah. um, secondly you can also get samples mm -hmm. you can yeah. buy the little sample things yeah. of, of of paint the other thing that i would encourage you to do and what i'm going to do is i'm going to look in my basement and i'm going to see okay what old paints do I have in yeah. the bowels of my basement? Because I probably have a can that's the exact same color of mm -hmm. my island. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, you might, and you might just have different kinds of paint. And honestly, does it really matter? As long as you get coverage, does it really matter what kind of paint it is as long as you get the effect that you want and you're reusing yep. things that otherwise are just sitting there. These things are just sitting in my basement as is perhaps your paint or your spray paint or yep. your your whatever that you have and i just thought it would be a fun project and then think how cute it will be when i pair these with my own little signature postcard signature cards with the cottage on them because it's the exact color of the roof yeah and so see it will just be this great color echo and this, by the way, is a is just a really fun thing. Would make a great Valentine's Day gift, and that is to have a line drawing of your own home made. You can probably, I'm sure there are so many different ways you can have these made right now, and then make your own cardstock. And then these are kind of my brand colors. Mm -hmm. So I also found some hearts in exactly that same cute. color. And how cute would that be? As a package, I could put. A, you know a flower bulb in this mm -hmm. with descriptions on how to care for it a succulent I just think it would be imminently fun and so it's a fun idea that we wanted to share for you so between now and execution why don't you guys go down and look and show us send us pictures mm -hmm. we'll put them in the community tab send us some pictures of things that you have excavated from the bowels of your closet or your basement or and some paint that you found. Maybe yeah, and some paint that you found. Or, or things that you found at the, at the thrift store to do this very loving, loving project for Valentine's Day. Well, this is a little segment I'm going to call Problem Meet Solution. So what is the problem, you ask? The problem is that I have really dry and cracked heels right now. I bet you guys might too. And it's been worse since we've moved into the cottage, I think because and my heels are sore because the, the substrata, the subflooring here at the cottage doesn't seem to have as much give as at the other house. So I've noticed that number one, my heels are dry and cracked and number two, my heels are just kind of sore. 
It's also probably due to aging, but I have found some solutions that have really helped kind of mitigate the problem. So number one, in general, overall, I have really found having this humidifier to be very, very helpful. In fact, so helpful that I think I need to get another one for a different room in the house so that various areas around the cottage are humidified because the air is just so, so dry right now. The other thing that I'm doing I did this two nights ago is I bought one of these I've talked about these before these foot peel masks that basically you put on it is lots of, of herbal acids ascorbic acids and things like that natural acids and enzymes that will help exfoliate your feet in addition to whatever like sugar scrubs or whatever you might use in the shower but I started this and this will definitely make a big difference but this takes some time time to work. The other thing that I have found in the interim are two different things you two are probably familiar with. Number one, I had completely forgotten about the brilliance of just the Neutrogena hand cream. This stuff is gold. I This is one of those secrets of adulthood. Mm -hmm. I found it in the way back of a drawer. I pulled it out again and I've been using it on my hands and on the heels of my feet every night. And then I put cotton socks over them and it has already made a difference. I started doing this two nights ago. The other thing that I thought, well, it's been such a miracle worker on other parts of my body. I told you guys about this Unker's therapeutic rub and I thought well I wonder if you can use it um, on dry cracked feet and it says joints and muscles soreness skin irritations so I've started using it on that too so between the two both of them have probably been helpful in that regard and then thirdly because I've been spending a lot more time on my treadmill lately rather than walking around outside the pounding of my feet on the treadmill has really made my heels sore. So I got some of these gel heel cups to put in my tennis shoes and they just provide some additional cushion. See they're silicone probably and yeah my, my mother-in-law was all about orthotics and foot care so I thought what would Mamu do and so I got some of these these gel inserts and lo and behold it really 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 made a difference and my heels have not hurt as much and especially as we start um, getting outside walking more jogging more or pounding the treadmill all of things will really help your soy cracked and aching feet and here's my outfit du jour, probably uh, because you're going to want to know where I got this pretty pink sweater. It seems like whenever I ask it, you guys want to know. I bought it online. It is tray comfortable. It does not itch. I love the collar on it. Um, and it's a nice good color that will segue and transition I think really nicely from winter into the spring and it is eminently seasonal in the spirit of Valentine's Day. Um, my great big gold hoop earrings. I'm a gal who loves her gold hoops. They're a signature touch of mine. Oh, they're big. These are big and I think I just got these online too. Um, and these are my same jeans that I have had on for a while. These are my probably some of my favorites right now. These are Banana Republic jeans. My belt from Nordstrom Rack. Um, I am going very, very minimalist today and my house slippers that you guys have seen before. So there you go. There is my very simplistic outfit of the day.